Hello reformers and welcome back to Burizno. Now when we left off we performed a couple of siege offenses but not really successfully because we had an interruption by a scoundrel, a very fiendish Tyranian by the name of Count Tyricus or Lord Tyricus or whatever his name is. I'm I'm insulting him by not remembering his name correctly. Yes, exactly. Anyway, the point is what we are what we are yes. I was going to say where we are, but no. What we are doing right now is we're going to be placing a couple of Aurums in the bank at Dilek Castle. So I'm going to be placing 30,000, I think. There you go. That's nice. Now they can continue to train up units, and hopefully the hired warriors... I don't know why they haven't leveled them up yet, but <laughs> I'd very much like, to, like them to level up reasonably soon, but it seems like they're leveling up a bunch of other things first, which is a little bit annoying, but, well, we're just going to have to deal with it. Anyway, I'm going to go to Anluk's castle, as I would very much like to take that from the Zan. So if we can, if we can do that, then we're going to be in a really, really nice position, in my opinion, because that will mean that we have gone across diagonally, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool, and we will have almost formed a pretty nice sort of area here for the Elan Torrens to, to sort of stage attacks against, well, basically quite a few different factions. If we wanted to fight the Draharans, if we wanted to fight the Reich, if we wanted to fight Machavir, any one of them, any one of them, and we could always stage attacks here, which would actually be a pretty cool thing to do. So, yeah, we're going to be waiting for five more days. That's what I was doing before I was rudely interrupted by Tyricus. And, oh lovely, my <laughs> my relation with Lior has deteriorated. Of course it has, of course it has. Anyway, we're going to be waiting here, and I will cut back if anything interesting happens. Okay, so I said I'd cut back if anything interesting happens. Not really anything interesting, with the exception of being stalked by, I think, over a thousand Zan units. We have General Attila here, and we also have... General Chingis, and I am probably going to be going in against them because I value the destruction of the Zan much higher than my unit composition at the moment, which is a bit weird considering I have spent a lot of time leveling these guys up. I mean, I have 25 Crimson Rangers. Obviously, some of those are actually from stealing from our wife, but Anyway, the point is, you know, you, you get my point. And you could probably hear a couple of engines in the background there. You can thank the wonderful, wonderful drivers around here that think they are race car drivers. Oh yes, absolutely. Anyway, we're going to level up a couple of... Oh, actually, wait a minute. What do we want to do with Fazio right now? Uh, yeah, I think strength is probably the way to go because he is going to be specking into trainer a little bit. Isn't he? Tra no, no, he's not because he's level 9. I'm getting mixed up now between the other guy. Who's the other guy? Ah, uh, the other guy that joined us reason, uh, recently. Oh, on the mind. Okay, let's just give him some power strike so that he's actually a bit decent in melee combat. You never know he, when he could use it. But the other guy was... Was it Kengish? No, it's Slighter. Slighter is the one that I'm getting mixed up with. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to be leveling up Zira's strength as well and a little bit of Iron Flesh for her too. That can always help out a little bit. All right, so we are ready. We are very much ready, and we're going to be attacking General Attila. Okay, so they have probably many more units than I think. I didn't run. You uh, you saw that in the previous episode, right? Yeah, you saw that. I didn't run. I was literally just checking to see what was going on with the fight, and then he got himself taken prisoner. But anyway, <laughs> point is, 1,200. Okay. Let's do this. We have minus 12 battle advantage, and we have a grand total of 38 units on the battlefield. This might be a little bit too much for me. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit too much. I'm a bit sad to say that, actually, because I think that we would actually be able to do this if we just had a little bit extra battle advantage. Probably, you know, three or so points. If it was minus nine battle advantage, I think we could probably do quite a bit of damage to them. Okay, so I'm just going to continue firing away here. 
and I'm hopeful that Scout is actually going to level up soon so that we might be able to get him another point in strength. I'm going to aim for about 30... Uh, I don't actually know. I think 32, 33 strength, maybe maybe somewhere around there because then what we can do is hopefully the random points will get it up to 36 because apparently we can get to 15, I believe, in strength skills, in power draw skills and things like that. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. But obviously I, I'm not, I, I don't know, 100% whether that is going to be the case. It seems like I'm going to need to run away from this. Oh yeah, by the way, I almost had the castle ready to, you know, actually go in and take it because there was, I think, one day, one or two days remaining on the food situation there. And yeah, I'm a bit sad about that, actually, because it would have been really, really cool to take another castle. But obviously, as I said, the Zan... They're not going to allow you to do that that easily, are they? No, they're really not going to allow that. And it seems like my, my archers are not really doing a very good job here. I'm quite surprised. I mean, yes, okay, we, we only have 11 of them on the battlefield here, but I would have expected them to do a little bit more. Well, I'm going to move my infantry back a little bit. Oh, it seems like they've already run out of arrows. Some of them have already run out of arrows. It seems like this might literally be one of those times when I should just cut my losses and run away. Because, I mean, are we really going to be able to do this? I, I, I don't think so. I mean, yeah, I think we would probably be able to do it if we had, I don't know, if, if there was about 900 of them, I think we'd probably be fine. But as it stands, they're all running around with each other, and it's really quite annoying. So I guess I'm just going to have to retreat. Maybe we can try Galway instead, because having a town... Ooh, that would make things much easier for us. It would give us much more money, and, well, it would just give us a greater security as well. So, maybe, maybe we can try this. Ooh, Duke Cantor, or Cantar, has renounced his allegiance to the Kingdom of Torreni and joined the Elantor. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have King Torlian with 93. Obviously, that's not really... You know, that's not really spectacular, is it? I think he's pretty down on his luck at the moment. And what about these guys? Yeah, they're not very good either. 46 more days. I don't think I can wait 46 more days, everyone. I'm going to have to just build some ladders. Or... Oh. <laughs> ah, yes. I did not want to do that either. Oh, there's Queen Aegea. Okay, let's fight her instead. Go. Let's fight her. Yes. I mean, I don't think we've killed her yet, have we? I don't think we have. So, it would probably make sense to try and take out all of the unique spawns uh, in the land of Perusno. I think that would probably make a you know, great deal of sense. Okay, so let's get our units up here. Because this seems to be a, a pretty... Oh, this is an awful map. This is an absolutely awful layout. I could technically retreat right now and get a new layout, but... I, I don't know, I have faith in my units that I'll be able to win this, even so. But then I'm kind of worried. <laughs> then I'm kind of worried that I'm being overconfident, you know what I mean? Because that is one of my main weaknesses. Getting overconfident in my unit capacity and capability. <laughs> capacity, yes. In my unit capabilities. That's usually my downfall, pretty badly actually. So hopefully that's not going to be the case here. But you never know. Maybe we're going to have an absolutely humiliating defeat at the hands of Queen Aegea because we decided just to charge straight on in instead of using any kind of tactic whatsoever. But I was trying to protect my archers. That was the main reason for my charge in there with our, with our cavalry, which was ill-advised, very much ill-advised. I would not have done that if I had more time, you see. That was the main reason why I did it. But hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of kills here because they don't have the best armor. I think they're, they're pretty, you know, pretty lightly armored, most of them. So it's going to be quite easy for me to get a couple of kills, as you can see there. And my infantry is doing an absolutely fantastic job, as is always the case. I don't know what I would really do without the Elantoran Noble Maidens. They are just invaluable. They are absolutely invaluable units. So I'm really, really happy that I was able to marry Princess Lenthandral because without marriage, I probably would be 
dead many, many times over, to be honest. There's no way that I would have been able to survive without that. So, yeah. That's, that's just the reality of things. That is literally just the reality. Okay, so everyone seems to be charging in now because, well, there doesn't seem to be any reason not to, I guess. Because there's just so many low-tier units around here, and I believe that is it. Yeah, I believe that is it. And hopefully she's going to give us a decent amount of cash. I would love it if they would actually have, like, unique weapons and maybe some equipment and things like that. I think that would be maybe borrowing a little bit too much from Pendor. Because mm, Pendor obviously has that, but I don't know. I think I think the unique uni unique drops are really cool. But I think money is just as cool because Prisno, you know Prisno, you need money. You need a lot of money. All right, if you kill me, the entire nation of Ankars will rise against you. Do it, I dare you. I'll let you live, but I'll be needing your treasury. Give me 11,000, thank you very much. It means nothing to me. Oh, okay. Apparently it doesn't. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to take that. Take this, thank you very much. And, oh my. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is... This is kind of what I was looking forward to here. I'm pretty happy with this particular weapon. So, I like that. You, now, you, now, the reason I like this is because it doesn't have a thrusting attack. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, but surely, you love thrusting into units from behind. Yeah, well, I do like to do that. But, I personally find the swinging swords a lot easier. So... I'm going to be using that. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So, other than that, we do have a number of things that I actually can give to my units, to my companions here. So, I'm probably going to be doing that. Let's just see. Okay, so, Zira definitely needs a new helm. Let's give her that. She needs some new gloves as well, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. There we go. Does she need new boots? Kind of, I suppose. And she's already been given those and that, and she can obviously use a much better chest piece there. Oh, I should have taken the other chest piece, shouldn't I? Yep, should have taken the other chest piece. Okay, I made a bit of an error there, because I actually thought I had taken it. But what actually happened was I replaced one of the things that I took, and then it went to the bottom, because I swapped it back. Yeah. It went to the bottom of the inventory screen. Okay, well, that's not really a big deal, I suppose. I'm going to just continue leveling up Faziel like this. If we ever create our own faction, he's going to be an absolute beast when it comes to persuasion and being sent as an emissary to, you know, persuade people of certain things. I'm going to take her bow away because she can now use the red imperial bow, so hopefully that's going to make her a little bit better. And... There we go. I think that's good. Oh, yeah. Akara can also level up. Oh, yeah. Now th now I remember. Now I remember why I was like, I'd like to, um, yes, I'd like to keep my companions as little as possible, please. Because <laughs> this is what happens. Every single time you do a battle, you're going to get level ups. And you have to level them up every single time. And that's very irritating. That is very, very irritating. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be taking Galway anytime soon. I think I'm going to need a bunch of Elantor and Vassals to be able to do that. And I don't think they're going to be doing that anytime soon. It seems like we've... I don't know why we're not making peace with, with the Tauranians right now, because they, they only have one town. Oh, here we go. Here's all of, all of our friends. There's Queen Arwen and everything. Okay, fantastic. Have they given me a quest, by the way? No, they haven't given me a quest. Okay, well... Seems like I'm just going to stand here then. Okay, so Scout can level up, so I'm going to be getting some more strength for him. Some more power draw. Should I get to, Should I get more power draw? I mean, he already has 10 in trainer, which is fantastic. Hmm. I don't know what to do, really. It's very... I, I don't know, because here's the thing. We can either get more prisoner management, which I don't particularly think is necessary, or we can go for some more power draw and make us do even more damage. I think we're probably just going to go and do that. It's probably a bit of a mistake, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so who are we accompanying here? It says Albondiel. Where are you, Albondiel? Ugh. Okay, oh no. I, I don't know where... There he is. Okay, fantastic. All right, so we're just going to wait here. 
Ooh, we might be going for Galway. If we are, then that is amazing. And I'd very much appreciate it if they do. They're just going to go and raid this village, aren't they? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I got to say, that is actually rather amusing. Oh. That... They're fighting a random party of demon worshippers. Oh my. I think they have their priorities a little bit messed up here. I'm going to cut away and hopefully they're going to do something relatively soon. Ah, now this is what I call doing something. Oh yes. Okay, so we have a momentous battle between <laughs> about 500 Tauranians. And as you can see, there's a, a number there that I'm not going to disclose, 1,749. And they are beasting them. They're absolutely beasting them. So I'm going to go into King Torlian's party and we're going to move in and help. Because of course we are. And we're going to... Oh yeah, we're going to just pile on a little bit here. Oh, the renown value for this battle is 29. What? What's going on there? We outnumber them so heavily, I'm actually kind of surprised. All right. Well, let's hope that the AI actually decides to do something more than just kind of stand there this time. Are you? Are they actually gonna? Are they actually gonna do something this time? I very much hope they are. I'm gonna try and get a couple of kills here, by the way, as well. Now that I have ten in power draw, oh, I should have actually changed my bow because I do have another bow that requires ten power draw. So I should probably have changed that, but oh well, the mind. I mean, we have a pretty decent bow right now anyway, so I don't think it's really particularly necessary, but, well, who knows? Maybe it would help us. Okay, can I can I actually do something now? Can I actually do some damage? Are you serious? I'm still doing 14 damage? Come on now, I need a little bit more damage, please. Come on, scout. I guess I just need some more proficiency and things like that. I mean, obviously, power draw is going to come in the end. I just need to get much more strength which is hilarious in itself, because I never thought I'd have 30 strength, to be honest. Okay, can you... Yes, there we go. Finally a kill. Thank you very much. Can I get a couple more kills, please? Can you just kill that one? Ah, oh, yes, you're moving. You're annoying. You're very annoying, you person. You're moving around too much. <laughs> this is what's amusing, though. <laughs> Do you see... Oh, I was just zoomed in, and then... All of a sudden, from the right side of the screen, they just started, like, creeping in from the side. That was just hilarious. Because they're just like, yes, we're here, and we're just going to creep in and not actually charge and do anything worthwhile. I, I, I don't know why they're doing that. They've never been like that, which is why I'm completely gobsmacked when it happens. They've never been like that in this entire series. They've always been very, very aggressive, you know? And they've always attacked at a very, very good time. But this time, not so much. Oh, well. I, I, I don't think it really matters, to be honest. I mean, we have such an amazing battle advantage that really, you know, you, you don't really need to worry about whether we're going to win this or not. I mean, it's literally just going to be one of those times where it's kind of a foregone conclusion and you kind of just need to wait. You know, you just need to wait and make sure that everything goes smoothly. I'm going to try out my new weapon because we do have a new new sword here and it is a slashing only weapon so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Whoa, okay, I'm in the spawn area here. This is probably not good. Not a good place to be because if I get spawned on right now I'm going to die instantly. I am doing a little bit of damage though. I am doing a little bit of damage. I got a, a couple of kills right there. Not too bad. I'm actually liking this weapon. I like this weapon a little bit more than the other ranger weapon, even though it's basically the same. Uh, yeah, well, maybe it's just the feel of it or something. Who knows? I mean, obviously, I don't have the sense of touch, but you know what I mean? Like, when you swing a weapon in Warband, and you think to yourself, hmm, I don't really like this weapon. Or, you know, you, you shoot a bow, or you swing a pole arm or something like that and you're just like yes I like this or no I hate this you know that kind of thing so that's the kind of feeling that I'm talking about not the not the sensory one yeah anyway it seems like we have absolutely destroyed them look at that 
29 renown. Nice. Thank you very much for that. And we literally lost a grand total of 12 to the Grim Reaper. Everyone else was knocked unconscious and 446 were eliminated. And now we do get a little bit of relation with hopefully everyone that was involved. I'm going to be letting this guy go. And we'll let this guy go as well. And uh, yeah, then hopefully we'll get, as I said, a bunch of relation with all of the Elantoran vassals. That would be pretty nice. Okay, so I still don't have enough space. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to swap out the things that I don't particularly want. And that I have already replaced in our companion's inventories. And then I'm just going to take the high tier stuff. And that is actually not even worth it, to be honest. This is, though, these two helms, they're going to be really good. They're going to be really good. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Look at all that relation. I love it. I love it. I, I definitely need to participate more in these kinds of battles with the Elan Torrents, because the more that we do that, the more we're going to be able to overthrow the queen when the time comes. Anyway, it seems like they are going back <laughs> to this village for some reason. I don't know why, but it's rather painful to see them do this when they have so many units that they would be able to take Galwi in no time at all. Anyway, it seems like we'll save that for the next episode if they decide to do it. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.